What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy KP coming back at y'all with another video. And like I told y'all in the last video that I made with the Jordan 1 mid band colorway, I told y'all that I was going to do a, uh, told y'all I was going to do a custom. So uh, I am painting this portion right here black to make it look more like the, the actual bread band colorway. And I'm going to show y'all what I did with the other pair so I have done the right shoe already just before I even did the video I did go ahead and do this one y'all can see came out pretty good you know what I'm saying like I think I did pretty good now the only thing that I did end up using was the flat black um, acrylic leather paint um, I did prep the leather with the acetone. I went through, prepped it, went ahead and did that. And uh, I didn't have a finisher though. So that's the only thing. It's the only thing I don't know how it's gonna do. My boy, he's actually a painter. So he told me, he was like, I should put like a, I put like a finisher or something on it. That way I can like hold the paint and it won't crack on me. But I don't know how it's gonna turn out. If it does happen to crack on me, I'm probably just gonna, Probably just going to repaint it, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't end up getting a, a finisher. I just only got the paint, so. Just to change the shoe over to the bread, I'm gonna show y'all how to do it with something as simple as just the Angelus flat black paint, the flat black paint. A little tongue twister right there. <laughs> uh, paint brush. Got a few Q-tips just so I can go ahead and take that, that top coat off. And I got my acetone. So I'm gonna show y'all how I do mine. And then it'll be an easy, it'll be an easy DIY for y'all if y'all wanna just go ahead and just turn y'all's band mids into actual bread mids. So let's go ahead and get into the video, man. So first things first. I'm gonna go ahead and take these laces out. And hopefully, hopefully this will be easy just like the last one. It was actually a pretty, a pretty easy custom. Um, I didn't think it was gonna be hard anyway, but yeah, man, it was just, as simple as just taking that top layer off that top finisher that the factory put on there with the acetone and going in being real real precise I don't have a heat gun so I do have to wait for this paint to dry a little bit so I'm probably just gonna speed this up but yeah man laces already out you see this portion right here last time it's gonna be red so we'll go ahead and take one of my cotton swabs my little q-tips just take a little bit of acetone All I do is just dip the swab in there. And I just go in and take that top layer of the paint off. That's all it is. The factory, all they do is just the same thing we would do for the shoe as far as taking that top layer off. Or well, the same thing we would do to like add that top layer. They add that layer of uh, finishing. So I'm like blocking that paint. too much acetone is gonna take off it's, it's gonna take off what you need to take off as far as that top coat I'm gonna go ahead and do the, the inside of the shoe main goal isn't even to take off 
the actual paint is just to get that finish off. So. Shouldn't expect for the paint to just come off. Just get that top clear off. All right. So now that we got that, let me move that to the side. Now. I'm gonna take my flat black paint. I ain't trying to get no paint nowhere. So I'm just gonna take some of that paint. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in the lid. It's not gonna be a lot. It's literally only a little bit of paint that you're gonna use. Really don't need a lot. Set that to the side. Now, this is my first custom. This is my first ever custom, so I didn't feel as if I needed to use masking tape or anything, but if you feel like you're gonna mess up, I definitely would recommend masking tape. My other shoe, I was actually pretty precise with it and I didn't have to use masking tape, so. Let's just see with this, one, you know what I'm saying? Let's just see. We're just gonna dab a little bit of that, that paint. I'm not an artist or anything, but I will say that this is pretty simple. It was actually pretty easy. Easier than what I thought it would be. This is only gonna be the first layer. I am gonna do a second layer after this first layer dries. But I'm making sure that I get in between those cracks. Making sure I'm keeping a steady hand. Keep a steady hand, you're good. I'm going under, under that little area. So that way there's no, no red showing on that under part either. You don't have to go crazy. Everything doesn't have to be perfect with the first layer because you are gonna come back around. Don't come back around and hit it again. Once it dries. So I'm not really too pressed about getting the perfect layer on that first one. I'm gonna make sure it's evenly distributed. Let me get this Q-tip, I got a little bit. Keep that Q-tip on you just in case you get anywhere, anything anywhere where you didn't want to get it. So yeah, I'm gonna let that side dry while this side is drying. For that first coat, we'll go ahead and start working on the second half on the inside. I'm not really even loading a lot of paint. It's just a little dab of paint. Nothing really crazy. Going in, start laying that first coat down. Make sure you're getting in those cracks.
simple, man. You honestly have to have no skill to do this custom. Especially where the placement of the, the red is and how it's connected to the black. Like the only part you really gotta be careful with is up here. But everything else is really simple. Cause even with the, the flat black paint, even if it does get on the black portion, it doesn't it doesn't really mess it up because the paint is already black. So, super easy. You just gotta be careful when you start getting to that collar, that ankle collar of the shoe. You just gotta be real slow with it, no rush. Honestly, I may have to get like a matte finisher to put over the shoe. Just something to lock in that paint because I, I do want to keep this shoe from cracking as much as I can. But, so yeah. First coat is done. That's how I starting to dry up. Still got a little bit to go. This side right here. Just finished that one. So I'm going to let this dry a little bit. And then we're going to get back into it once it dries up a little bit more. All right, so this side is dry now. I'm going to go in and hit it with that second coat of paint. And once that dries, we'll be done with that side. By the time we finish this side, this, uh, this side right here should be finished dry completely and I'm not really adding a lot of paint so it's it's drying pretty fast I'm not having a, not having a blow dryer or anything like that so that second coat the second coat is really just covering up all of those marks that I missed especially like with the stitching those are the main spots those are the main spots that are sure you get in those cracks like right on that bottom side you really want to make sure you get in there Second, I thought I had too much paint on there. It's all good. side dry but see it's already starting to look like that band that OG high band you know what I'm saying and I'm, I really don't understand why why excuse me why Jordan brand 
just doesn't give us the OG high. Or even like if they don't give us the OG high, just go ahead and just give us the bread so we don't have to sit here and customize our own by a little small portion. Like that money, that wouldn't cost any money for them to just paint this little portion right here. Go ahead and paint it black. But instead, they make it hard. Make us have to customize our own shoes. Like, come on, man. Like, ah, we not gonna get y'all the bricks. We know y'all want them. We not gonna give them to y'all. We just gonna get y'all shit that look like it. That's exactly what they said when they put these up. Guarantee you. But it's all good. Because we making it work. We making it work. It's really as simple as that. So, see right there, this side's still drying. This side's drying right now. So, after this finish drying, I'm gonna go ahead and lace it up. I'm gonna show y'all how it looks when it's laced up again. And that's how simple it is to just go ahead and make that custom, man. There you go. Simple custom. And it's not even that expensive either. You can actually get this bottle of Angelus for like $12. I wanna say they have a smaller bottle that's cheaper than that. Just went ahead and got this one because I'm probably gonna uh, paint some of my other black shoes that are missing that like just need some touch up. Probably gonna use this paint. But yeah, man, simple. Paint brushes, paint brushes are pretty cheap. You just get a little simple. You don't need to look crazy, you just need a little paint brush. Acetone, you just get this from the dollar store. You can get this from anywhere. Nail, pol nail polish remover, anything. You know what I'm saying? You can really just use that. It's quick and easy. But I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna lace these back up. Show y'all the finished product with the laces. Just like that one. So this is the final product. I did take the laces from my uh, gym reds, put them in there. Just to offset the color a little bit, the black and the red, but. How y'all think it turned out, man? I think it turned out pretty good. Took that red away. Pure bread look. Yeah, these go crazy. But let me know how y'all think I did on this custom. It was pretty simple. Like I said before, it's pretty easy if you want to turn your bread mids into actual bread colorway and not have that little red part right there. Hope this video helps you a little bit. But make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned to the channel. We out, man.